How's everybody doing? Really a light crowd tonight. You should have got this canceled so you could go enjoy the holiday. I mean, really. Well, you know, we we really looking forward to, you know, a great atmosphere in Bryant-Denny Stadium. Um, you know, this is a great rivalry game. We've talked about that. Uh, I think that execution still becomes number one goal. Um, the team that can be the most exact and how they execute, keep their discipline, you know, play with great emotion, but also have poise in what they do. Um, you know, this doesn't really matter much about who's favored or ranks or rankings or uh, any of that kind of stuff because, you know, rivalry games, you know, get determined by the team that can, you know, stay focused on what they need to do to execute and can do it for 60 minutes in the game. You know, we have uh, senior day on Saturday where I think we have 24 players that will be recognized before the game. Uh, this has been a fantastic senior class for us, some great individuals in this class, leaders, done a great job here academically, uh, as well as, you know, on the field. You know, in the last four years, this class has won 46 games, and um, we've won at least 10 games in every one of their seasons and extended, you know, the streak of how many 10-win seasons that we've had. But, you know, more important than that, I think they're great people. Uh, they do a really, really good job of uh, representing the university, the program, their families, and uh, they've done a great job in their leadership in terms of how they've affected other people in the program here, uh, as well as, um, you know, caring for others, setting a good example. Um, I, I'm really proud of this group, uh, and I think one of the reasons that we have really good chemistry on our team this year uh, is because of the senior class and the quality of people that we have in this class. Uh, I'd also like to wish everybody uh, a happy Thanksgiving. You know, I think a lot of us, you know, run around in this world thinking about what we don't have. Uh, but I think this is a really, really good time for everybody to just take a minute to give thanks for what we do have, because most of us have quite a bit to be thankful for. Um, and I hope that everybody has a very happy Thanksgiving and can spend time with their family and uh, we'll give thanks for all the wonderful things we've been blessed with. You know, Auburn's defense forces a lot of turnovers. What, what do you see from them on that side of the ball? Well, they're very aggressive, you know, up front. They create a lot of negative plays. Um, you know, they're, they, they've got a, a ball hawking secondary that has made a lot of plays. Uh, you know, they're not afraid to pressure. Uh, and, you know, give you problems with their pressure. Um, you know, getting eight-man fronts if they need to. Um, they got really two really, really good inside players uh, that create a lot of problems inside for you. Uh, so this is a very good defensive team, you know, in my opinion. Uh, I think in games like this, turnovers are really, really critical uh, in terms of how you take care of the ball and how you can you know, manage to manufacture some turnovers. I think they're they're huge and critical in a game like this. First, uh, you said Monday they were Vogler and uh, Stewart would be questionable for Saturday. Would anything? And they're still questionable. They they, they they haven't been able to practice, you know, to this point. Um, so they're very questionable. Also, I just want to ask about Blake Sims. Just his demeanor seems very calm, very relaxed. What's he like away from the field, and how does that play into how he plays? Uh, you know, I, I think that, um, you know, Blake is very, very well liked, you know, by his teammates. Um, he's got a great personality. I've never heard Blake say a bad word about anybody. Um, all, always willing to help and serve somebody else with what he does. Uh, and I think he's got a lot of confidence right now. And I think his teammates have a lot of confidence in him. Um, so... You, you know, we, we, we just do everything that we can do to try to help them execute um, and, you know, do what we need him to do at his position to take advantage of what other people on our team can do when he distributes the ball correctly. And uh, I think he's getting more and more confidence in that. What are the challenges in facing two big physical wide receivers like Duke and, and Sammy and who make explosive plays down the field? 
Right. Well, you know, I think that's one of the, the things that is a real challenge for any team that plays, you know, these types of receivers. You know, Mississippi State had a couple of guys like that were very challenging. And, um, you know, the, the, these, these two guys are as good as anybody probably in the country uh, in terms of size, vertical guys that can make great catches, have great catch radius, really good hands, uh, and can separate, you know, from you uh, and are very physical. Uh, so, you know, it's going to be a challenge for our guys. They got to use great technique and um, really good eye control in terms of what they're doing. And um, but it's got to be a team thing. You know, we, we, the, the, these guys make a lot of plays because the quarterback extends plays and does a really good job of getting the ball to them. So, you know, how you affect the quarterback up front uh, and how you cover people, how you disguise things. You know, I think all these things contribute to um, trying to. Um, slow these guys down a little bit in terms of their big vertical receivers. We've seen Tyron Jones get seemingly a little increased role these last couple games. What, what, how, what's his development been like, and do you think he could continue that down the stretch here? Well, you know, we've always thought Tyron has really good uh, ability. You know, sometimes it just takes guys a little time to mature you know, in terms of learning how to do things the way you need to do them so that you can be a successful player on the field. Um, you know, I, I talked about being exact. Um, and, you know, lots of times we get guys here that have had, you know, quite a bit of success and they've never had to pay attention to detail. And it, it's, it takes a little while for them to, you know, get, get to where they need to be, not only on the field but off the field and um, having the kind of discipline they need to have a chance to be successful. And, uh, Tyron's come a long ways this year, and uh, he's doing things a lot better, and uh, he's playing well for us, and he played very well in the last game, and we have a lot of confidence in him. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.